We joined Candice this morning at Bass Racing to take us through her runners for Hollywood Bets Kenilworth on Wednesday. Candice Race 1, you've got Strata, she's got the experience, so can she be competitive? I think so, Vicky. She, um, you know, back over a thousand meters last time at Durnbull, I think she ran a very credible race. Um, it was a nice run from her and she's doing well enough at home, I think, to, to be able to repeat that run. Um, as I said, a thousand meters is probably her best sort of trip and uh, I haven't quite honestly at this stage looked at the form properly in that race, but um, as, as I say, she's doing quite nicely at home and she should be competitive, yes. Race two, you've got the two runners. First, Monet is on the Vercingetrix filly. How will she go first time out? Yeah, I think my all of my fillies there. I think will probably need the experience first time out, Vicky. Um, you know, the, the Brett's fully in that race. I think has got pretty strong form. You know, coming off a, a good second to to my filly last time out, and uh, I think they will need the experience behind that filly. Um, She's a nice filly, she's going to be looking for a bit further, I would think. Um, so I'm not expecting too much from her first time out. And, and it'll go for the same for all of mine, as long as I see them running on quite nicely. Um, probably out of mind, Beach Bomb might be the most forward. Um, she's a nicely bred filly and she's, she's a nice athletic filly. But again, I think for them, maybe small money chances. Race three, you've got the three runners. First up, no apologies. He's only had the one run a, a while back. Will he need the, this run again? I think Vicky, you know, he, sh he showed quite a bit at home early on and then I put him in a race and uh, he was he was hopeless in the race first time out. He was terribly green and he didn't want to run amongst horses. So, I, you know, I, I've given him a bit more time and, you know, his work at home is really good. But the, the problem is I think that running in amongst horses, uh, I don't know if he's a bit nervous or what it is, but I think he's going to take a couple of runs before I think he's confident enough to show on the grass what he does show at home. So I'm not quite sure what to expect from him. I would think that he's probably going to need another run or two and... Uh, going to need a bit further but uh, we're going to try again and see get him going again now but on his work at home um, he should be a horse that you know one could include but as I say I'm not so sure what to expect. Captain Arrow he seems to be knocking on the door do you think he can go one better? A oh, shame he's always just seemed to find one better um, you know his, his work at home is very strong he's, he's a lovely horse and uh, you know I've, I thought he would have won his maiden by now so yeah Again, um, we'll have a good chance again. Um, it just depends what we find in the race this time around. But he's doing well and uh, enjoys this sort of trip. So I'm hoping that you know he can have a good each way chance again. Warm winter night. Uh, first run back from gelding. Did he benefit from it? Yeah, I think he's he needed to be gelded quite badly, Vicky. He's a little bit on the keen side. Though I've, you know, I'm trying my best to settle him as much as I can at home. And I'm certainly going to use this run to, to teach him to settle. He was very much a tear away last time out over the 14. Obviously back over the 1,000. A much better trip for him but uh, yeah I need to get him to learn to settle um, you know if he learns to settle and runs on he's, he's a nice horse and he, he shows quite a bit at home but I think we need to just get the basics in in line before I can say that I fancy him to have a, a chance a winning chance race five the two runners uh, first up who do you love uh, she's back after a short rest lovely sort how do you think she'll go yeah I sent her to the farm she had a nice break on the farm um, you know she's a she's a fully that doesn't take a lot so I haven't done a huge amount with her she's had one little grass gallop um, distance wise for her I don't actually know what her best distance is you know some people say she wants to sprint others say she's looking for further so getting started over the sprint dis distance again um, I think she'll run quite nicely fresh um, so possibly a fully to include and you got Body Electric, Sean up. Uh, he seems to get the best out of the filly. Do you think that uh, she can be competitive? Yeah, she's look. This trip at Kenilworth is probably a best trip. I mean, she's and, and with Sean on, she's basically unbeaten over this course. So yeah, again, um, you know, she's she's also she's she's just a filly that's remained well and remained doing well for the last while now. So I'm hoping for a, a similar sort of run from her. Um, it's a little bit tricky been working the last couple of days or so with with the rain now because we haven't got tracks so a little bit in and out work wise but uh, yeah she's consistent enough over this trip and also good each way chance I would think. Race 7 the two runners first them uh, Monet aboard uh, Night Tiger back over the 1200 do you think this will be a better better trip? Yeah you could put a line through that last run we put him over a mile at Durbanville and they went to Canter and he was towing the whole way around so best put a line through that back over the 12. He always just struggles to get into the race a little bit uh, to get into the race early on and uh, I would like to see him a little bit closer to the pace this time around. Um, he's always running on quite nicely I think you know Vicky he's, he's a little bit limited ability wise and uh, I think he'll probably end up winning another race or so so um, you know, his, his work at home is average, he doesn't show a lot in the sand at home, but uh, yeah, hopefully he can get a little bit closer this time, but it's a little tricky, it's, it's quite an open race, I think. Then Benjamin, we know that he's a horse that's got the ability, can he repeat his last effort? 
Yeah, great run from him last time. I, as I, and I said the last time, it's all dependent on pace. You know, if they go good pace, he runs on re very well. And, they, you know, he ran on really nicely last time um, over the 12 this time around. Um, he has dropped another point in the merit, so he now fits into the lower division, which is quite nice uh, with top weight. So, yeah, always doing well and uh, always got a good each way chance. The last run of the day is Tchaikovsky with Anthony up. Uh, he looks better over the 1,000 metres, but can he be competitive over this 12? Um, yeah, look, thousands probably his best trip, I would think. Um, I, uh, there's no reason why I can't get the 12, but I think, you know, a thousand is, is his best trip, but it's not so easy to find, you know, they're not thousands every week. So, uh, Vicky, he, yeah, he's, he's doing quite nicely. Um, you know, he's got a few little niggles here and there. I think the softer going might suit him better than, than the very firm going. So I'm hoping that that will be a plus, but he might just, I would think, need his run. He's had a little bit of a break. He was supposed to have been sold and, you know, I backed off him and I had to haul him out again and, and get him going. And so he might just need his run back. Thanks Candice, all the best. Pleasure. Yeah, that's uh, Candice taking us through runners, some nice sorts that uh, will more than likely improve but uh, lovely cards so keep, uh, keep an eye on the best runners.